Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. And, again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for August 12th, I want to invite you to join. You will have access to the VIP club section, and you can see all these tabs here across the top. All these have tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so the Major League Baseball season is getting down to the final third. In fact, a little bit less than a third remaining in the season. So this is the time of the year where teams really need to start making a push towards the postseason run. So there's a schedule of about 10 or 11 games for Monday. We're going to look at four of them. And we're going to get started here. First game we want to look at, as we go down through the list here, Houston and Tampa Bay. Houston comes in burning hot, winners over the last two and three and three over the last six, while Tampa Bay is average three and three over the last six. Houston is percentage points ahead in the AL West, while Tampa Bay is running fourth in the AL East. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see the teams are trending on opposite sides of the over-under line. The last three games, Tampa has been over, and Houston has been under in two of the last three and five out of the last six. The score prediction is for Houston to double up Tampa Bay 6-3. to three. The confidence in the prediction is moderately high at 69%. On the power ranks indicator, both teams are on the upward trend here. Houston at plus 27, while Tampa Bay is at plus 22. Um, if we take a look at a couple other things, the scoring differential is plus 44 to minus 45 in favor of Houston. And um, Houston is two games under 500 on the road, and the Rays are just a game over 500 at home. Head-to-head -head wise, they played three games this year with Tampa Bay winning two of the three games on the road. And you can see the, the, the games were low scoring, one run, seven runs, and five runs total in those three contests. The stability factor, you can see Houston has been much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Although if you look over the past month, they have been inconsistent going from plus 15 down to plus 13. And overall for the season, Tampa Bay is plus three. In the end, I like the Rays to continue their good play uh, over the Astros. I just kind of like the Rays at home in this one. I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. Texas and Boston, this will be a good game. Uh, you see this, the teams are kind of heading in opposite directions. Texas ice cold down just two and four over their last six, while Boston is four and two in average status over their last six. And they're also trending in games over the line. All last six games for Houston, Boston have been over, and four out of the last six for Texas have also been over. The score prediction is for Boston in a route 9-2, to two, but the confidence in the prediction is just barely more than a toss of a coin, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, head to head wise, the teams met three times uh, earlier in this month, just last weekend in fact, and it was Boston winning two out of the three in Texas, and two games they won were by five runs. On the power ranks indicator, we see the downward trend here. Boston at plus 11, and Texas down here at plus 4. For the season, uh, we take a look at the scoring differential. It's plus 34 to minus 23 in favor of uh, Boston. Um, let's take a look here at a couple other things. Boston is just a game under 500 at home, so they haven't played well at home. And Texas is a game under 500 on the road. I like Boston to continue their hot play uh, compared to Texas. They have been a lot hotter as of late. So let's go with Boston in a game over the line. And we're going to take a look at Los Angeles and Milwaukee. Here are the two top teams in the NL West and NL Central, respectively. The Dodgers coming in average down after losing the last two to the Phillies, and they're 3-3 three and three over the last six. Milwaukee is on a three-game winning streak, and they are burning hot. You can see they blew out Atlanta in two of the three games, and they've been scoring a ton of runs. Uh, they've been trending in games over the line, as has the Dodgers. The score prediction is for Milwaukee up by a 6-1 to one score, which would be under the line, but the confidence is rather low at only 46.5% on that one. So don't take much uh, consideration with that, unless that confidence in the prediction gets higher. Uh, the Dodgers or at plus 9 on the power ranks indicator in Milwaukee. You see they're on a steep upward climb there now at plus 20. Uh, plus uh, 10, 101 to plus 89 is the scoring differential edge for um, uh, Milwaukee. Uh, let's see the head-to-head -head matchup. 
you can see in the last three games, the only three games played between these teams this season back in early July, the Dodgers won two out of three at home. Uh, two of those games were by more than well, three runs or more. The first one was by three runs. The second one was by two runs. And Milwaukee won the last game by seven runs. If you look at the stability factor, the teams have been consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, but much more so with the Dodgers at plus 24. And Milwaukee actually was more stable earlier in the season at plus 12, and they have declined since then down to plus 6. So I kind of like Milwaukee in this one. I like them to get even with the Dodgers and continue their hot play in a game over the line. We will look at one last game here for the day. And you can see there's a whole bunch of games you can consider, but I'm just picking the four that I feel are the most uh, interesting matchups for the day. And this one will be Atlanta and San Francisco. Atlanta has really fallen on hard times. They have lost their last five, one and five over the last six. Dead status at the moment, and they have dropped a third in the NL East. While the Giants are burning hot winners of four out of their last six. You see the over-under streak has been over the line in the last three for both teams. The score prediction has San Francisco more than doubling Atlanta. It's a 7-3 to three margin in the predicted uh, score in favor of the Giants, 68% confidence in the prediction. On the power ranks indicator, you can see how, how hard it's been for Atlanta lately. They're all the way down at the bottom of the league at the moment at zero, while San Francisco is up at plus 25. Um, in the head-to-head -head matchups, you can see that the teams have scored not a whole lot of runs, right? Six games in the last one, then four in the previous, and eight in the previous one there. So only a total of 18 runs in the three games with San Francisco winning two out of three on the road. Um, in the end, I like the Giants. I think this is going to be the Giants game. Even though the Braves have a scoring differential edge of plus 33 to minus seven on the season, I like the Giants to continue playing the way they've been playing. Atlanta just doesn't seem to have an answer for anything right now. So let's go with San Francisco in a game under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for August the 12th. Again, happy betting and see you next time.